Hey everyone, Andy here with the Next2 Video Storage Pro. This is essentially a uh, small computer with a built-in hard drive and a series of card slots. Uh, Next2 has made a series of these different boxes over, the, over time, mostly for the still photography market, uh, designed to allow photographers to insert a compact flash or SD uh, HD card into here and down into a hard drive in the field for portability's sake and for speed. Uh, so now they moved up to the video world, allowing you to download not only your compact flash cards and SDHC cards and mullet memory sticks, but also I can insert a Express card. This is uh, for SYS cards from Sony. I can insert it right there and download those cards. And with the uh, help of a little adapter that comes with it from next to, I can insert P2 cards as well. Uh, so that allows me to download that, all that material to the hard drive uh, very quickly. But I also I can also download. Uh, and play back the material on this little screen. So this screen allows me to have a little interface to uh, work with my material and download it, but then I can play it back in sort of a very low res uh, playback mode, uh, but it works fine for just checking out your material. So this is a great functionality of the box. Now when I said it works with most, most, most material, well in the P2 card world I can actually play back all the flavors of P2. AVCI 100, AVCI 50, DVC Pro HD, DV, the DVC Pro. There's so many flavors. It'll play them all uh, on a little screen there. Very nice. And downloads very fast. Uh, this is a uh, 32 gig card. Was, before I tested a 64 gigabyte card and I downloaded it about 18 minutes. So very quick download. Uh, very impressive. I, uh, in that same slot here on the side I can put those SYS cards in there. This is a 16 gigabyte SYS card and I was able to download this card in about three minutes. So very, very fast download of SYS cards onto the box and it will play back the XDCAM EX, SP, and HQ modes uh, on, the, on, the, on the box as well and it's very, very quickly do that. Uh, additionally, on top here, people wonder, what can I do with that compact flash card slot? Well, of course, I can download stills from a still camera, but I can also download uh, video from a red card. And now, uh, right now, I can download the material onto the box very quickly, uh, but uh, I can't yet play it. But in October, uh, in, a, in, a, in a release, a uh, firmware release, we'll actually be able to play the, back, the R3D files directly on the box in the screen here. Uh, the first of its kind, a uh, great way to work with red footage and check that it's downloaded great in the field. Um, so we can also work with other compact flash material like uh, conversion design, XD cam, HD material will play back as well on the screen, uh, will work. In the SDHC card slot, I can work with my SD uh, material. Uh, this was uh, filled with uh, JVC HM700 footage, uh, that XD cam EX flavor of JVC has made. Uh, and I can download this card, uh, this 16 gig card. It took me about 18 minutes as well to download, uh, which, is, which is good for this, this uh, speed of card. Uh, download the whole card very quickly. It will play it back on the screen uh, in the MP4 flavor. And, uh, and additionally, the, uh, I can play back, or well, download anyway, AVCHD. In October, I will be able to play back AVCHD material on the screen just with that October release date uh, of the firmware. So a lot of flavors will play back here on the little screen. It's pretty amazing to see it work. Now, just to show you, I had to see it to believe it myself. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and download a P2 card just to check it out. That's my card, P2 card found. There it is. All right. I'm going to click OK to download and very quickly download. Now I just have just one clip on there, so I'll wear it very quickly. And it says, go ahead, copy, and remove the card. That's it. It's done. And now I can click here on the screen. And the first option here is to say preview. And then it says internal or external. Now I can actually hook up an external drive to this unit as well. Uh, that can be synced with my internal drive or copied at the same moment. It's very nice to work with USB drives that way for redundancy. Uh, but I'll choose the internal drive, and then I see my first clips there, and I'll say show video clips from that file, and there's my, there's my one clip I have, and there I am, and there it is, DVC Pro HD playing back. Pretty goofy little clip, but get the idea. Now, for the material that's on the drive, I can download it directly off the box with a couple different interfaces. On the bottom here, you're going to see I have a FireWire 400 slot uh, port, a USB port, and also an eSATA port. So I can download very quickly uh, in general, but also very extremely fast with the eSATA connection to a uh, computer equipped with that. So uh, a lot of great interfaces. It's a very smart, small box. It's battery powered. It also comes with an AC wall jack if needed. Um, it can do a lot of amazing things. And actually, to me, this is a must have for any memory uh, based videographer out there. If you, uh, if you uh, would like to check it out, come by our shop or just uh, check it out on our website. All right, see you next time.